this point of what is the point? Excuse me. I've been looking at this for a long time. What is the point of being here on this planet? Why does life exist the way it's existing? Why is there so much suffering? Why are people abused, harmed, and disposed of, basically? Why? Why does it in life exist this way? And after many exploratory points that I have investigated for myself in lots of different avenues, I've found that the answer is within myself. And it's basic, it's simple in its understanding and its reasoning, though it has become so complex in ways because of the effects, let's say ripple effects, of a choice we all made to separate ourselves from life. Life exists, it is here. It is what is creating this reality. It's what creates us. Our physical bodies is life manifest. We within our physical bodies is being mind. And we have separated ourselves one and equal to be one and equal to this physical body and this physical existence. The reality that's here, the physical world we're living in. And we, self, has decided that long ago. Um, so the separation of ourselves to what is here, what is real, what is life, is one of the main points to why life is the way it is now. Though there's many points that you can look at and contemplate, uh, such as is what we're creating here to learn, to expand, to grow from, I don't know, many cycles before. I mean, is this just a cyclical point that is occurring in existence because obviously through mistakes we learn we grow we expand though you can get lost in that and we've gotten lost in our own mistakes consequences of actions that are not for the benefit of all and life is in that specific alignment of what is best for all. That is where life exists. That is where life is. We all have life within us as our being. It's been suppressed through our minds, through thinking, through what we participate in. What we think about we eventually act on and create in our reality, thus creating conflicts, creating arguments, creating harm towards others, creating eventually the society we live in. Relationships being destructive. And yeah, it just continues on. So it will continue on because we we have to sort this world out. And though it is a huge place, it is massive in its size, it actually is also quite simplistic in, 
and un and elementary in terms of its application to change this world. Though it's going to take each one to do it. And that is the way this world is going to change and the suffering is going to stop. And what we've all desired for centuries to have peace, to have harmony, to have a world that is supporting everybody where we don't have to suffer to live and die if we don't have what we need. We're given what we need. We're all is given because it's understood that that's how each one would want within themselves and that's what we give to everybody else because we're all a part of each other. We're all the same. Yet different expressions of the same that is life. So it's like, it's, it's that. It's shoots of, we're all individual beings of life. Unique but the same in life. So, yeah, we just understand and live and apply this, these principles of uh, taking responsibility and understanding the process that has to be walked, each one. And I'm only able to speak on this because I've been walking it for many years now. And it's through self-forgiveness. Forgiving yourself for what you've done. Giving that back to yourself. The understanding and the ability to respond differently next time. Through self-forgiveness, you are able to respond differently the next time that point comes around. Because you've learned, you've grown from that point. And you have responded in a way of showing life that you care and that you are in humbleness to change yourself to live a new way to support the life that you in the past destroyed so to speak so it's all here it's all able to be done each one has the ability within themselves to forgive themselves and see the correction that needs to be made and live that correction and just keep doing that until you are clear, you are here, you are stable, you are grounded. And it does occur once. It's like uh, walking. It's like having a pile of post-its in front of you with tasks on it. And each day you have to take a, a post-it and do that task. And once it's complete, that pile becomes lighter. That's like within yourself, each... there's piles of points in, internally that you have to walk through, that you have to forgive, that you have to understand, you have to change, and each day you take on one of those points, you forgive yourself, you see the realizations, you see who you've become in that point through the forgiveness, and you live the commitment to change that, and then you walk that change in your physical reality until it's been proven through time that you've changed in the physical and through that proving, through that physical integration of the change, you become lighter, you become uh, more grounded, you become more in harmony with yourself because you've realized and lived your words, you've changed, you've done what you said you were going to do, and you have now built self-trust trust and integrity, and through that it becomes more trustworthy which supports with grounding yourself and grounding yourself supports with being at ease being comfortable being stable so it has an effect um, and this is the walk that has to be walked to change yourself internally first and then walk that change in your reality to support others through your example of how to do this so they can then walk their process and change and that ripple will go out note note and each one will walk their point their process and eventually through time through action through living and aligning ourselves back to life here 
I want us in equality and what's best for all in the physical interactions in our living. The world will change and become the world we all want to create because we are creating that within ourselves and without. That simple. And yet it is quite a walk. So enjoy, ask questions if you have any, and I'll do my best to support and thanks for listening. Bye.